Hey guys, in today's lesson, what we're going to do is look at how things stretch and how things squash. So um, obviously, we're going to look at forces that uh, affect the shape of objects. So uh, looking at how things deform rather than how things move. You can see here I've got an example. Actually, when you hit a golf ball, if you take it with a really, really slow camera, on the hit, you can see that the, um, the ball itself starts to squash together. The particles that make up the ball are squashed and then pop out again, driving the ball with it. Uh, we're going to look at this um, and actually have a look at, at um, how things stretch and deform uh, when we apply forces to them. Now, we talked about the reaction force when you guys were with me in school. Um, with the reaction force just being the normal force that pushes against something when a force is applied to it. Based on Newton's third law, if body A exerts a force on body B, then body B will exert a force that is equal and opposite to the force that body A put on it. Um, but there is a reason why this happens. Basically, whenever I put a force on an object, the particles in that object become compressed and get closer and closer and closer together. You can see this in my little diagram. The solid particles are getting squashed together. But when that happens, they repel each other and they try and bounce back to the original position that they were in. That's where the reaction force comes from. And that's why it happens whenever we have a contact force. If you stretch something with a force, we call this extension. So whatever the, the extra length it has, after you adding the force on um, and the force that makes you spring back again is called the tension of that spring tension is the reason why bungee jumpers bounce back or why springs bounce back so maybe you want to have a go at doing this pause the video now and just try and draw the force diagram for this man hanging off the rope okay hopefully you managed to do this um, so you should have had the weight of the man here. Uh, make sure you've measured accurately the length of this, because whatever the length of the weight is, should be exactly the same length for the tension. Remember, these are a force pair, so they need to be exactly the same length. If you add too much force to an object, you'll stretch the object and deform it. Uh, it reaches its elastic limit. If you stretch a spring past the elastic limit, it isn't going to be able to go back to its original shape, as you can see here from the diagram. Now, all elastic objects are based on something called Hooke's Law, and I've asked you to do a little investigation into this, which uh, you can see on my other video. But basically, Hooke's Law says, as the force on an elastic object doubles, the extension of the object doubles. And so I'll be expecting you to prove Hooke's Law using the experiment that I did for you. All right, here's how we'd set up the experiment, but you can see that in you can see that in the uh, uh, in the experiment that I showed you uh, on my other video. So good luck, guys, uh, and I hope you work really hard over lockdown. Bye bye.